So as you can see, we have a nice wet sight glass. If you see it's yellow right now, and that's because it was in the box, it's open to the atmosphere and just the moisture absorbing into the moisture indicator turns it yellow. Now I'm gonna braise this and during the whole time, nitrogen's gonna be flowing. And as you can see by the little ball indicator down here, it's floating off the bottom because there's nitrogen flowing. It's in its uh, braising position. And so that is flowing in at the top right here. You can see that the ball valve is off. I have it in off position. So the nitrogen has to flow down here. It's going through the receiver dryer and it's going past the moisture indicator. So I will be heating it up right here to braise it. That'll make dry, hot nitrogen. The nitrogen's already dry, but it'll be hot. Then I'll be braising it again here in the second location and that'll be making some more heat. And as this heat and the nitrogen passes by the sight glass, it'll be absorbing the moisture out of this area. And then I'll be heating it up right here to braise it right here with the 15% silphos, and then continuing that down through. And the nitrogen passes through, it goes through the electronic expansion valve, it comes back up through here, and it comes out at this point relieving the pressure and all the unbraised spots. So let's come back for the second video after I finish. I have nobody to hold uh, the camera for me while I do this. So I'm going to be brazing and then there'll be a second video showing, oh, roughly probably uh, five to six minutes, eight minutes after I finish. Let's see what this looks like.